name's Darren Marino, but I prefer the name Voluptuous D. I work as a journalist for the Hot Scoop magazine in Chicago. And by Chicago, I mean a dank town in Montana no bigger than the knuckle of a small child. You can usually find me investigating and cooking up my stories in local schools. Before the termination of the First Amendment, the only good story I ever found lurking down these hallways had to do with a teacher who broke her neck when trying to show her students a cherry mole on her shoulder. But when the U.S. became borderline apocalyptic, I found my perfect story. You see, the world used to be a place where we could express ourselves and have opinions and our own beliefs, and Congress was supportive of it. I think baseball is the best sport. And I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant. And I'm okay with that. Our government test was so hard. Yeah, it sucked really much. A lot. Mm, he is foxy as hell. And I'm okay with that. I don't think Miley Cyrus is gross. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. We continued to have our own opinions until Miley Cyrus had a speech at the White House where she said she wanted to while eating a with the side of And then she started twerking on the first family. And along with that came losing many of our rights. We couldn't express any opinions or thoughts or freedom of religion. I like pumpkins. No, you don't. Hey, I think that's cute shirt. No, you don't. I need to take a shower. No, you don't. I like Jacob better than Edward. No, you don't. Extensions. No, you don't. I think that Disney is probably the best filmmakers ever, ever. in the history of the planet. And here's why. Okay, so Pocahontas. She uh, clearly is a great model of an American Indian, and she was helping John Smith Pilgrim, and she saved him, and it was just like she was a good, it was just, I just think it's the greatest film ever. No, you don't. That's right. We currently aren't allowed to say anything, really. Before all this went down, you would hear people left and right say that the government was corrupt, but now, whatever we say, we get punished for. And I thought that once my story was published, the world would see how truly inhumane it is to take away these rights. I was wrong. It was a chilly fall evening when I went to go see my publishers. Great article. Fantastic job. Naturally, they loved my story. They said it could be a headliner, but they also said that. Congress says that magazines aren't going to be made anymore. They're shutting down our press. What? I've been working two months on this article. That sucks. Congress said that magazines express too many opinions, which is bad for the youth of America. So they're just going to replace all magazines with the Koran. I told them that I had Jewish beliefs, but they said, No, you don't. And now the U.S. continues to be like the Holocaust 2.0, just because of the loss of one amendment. As you can see, not everything has a happy ending. But I hate sad endings, so here's the ending of Cinderella. Uh...